I don't claim to be a steak connoisseur, but I just I want to show you how we like cooking and eating our steaks. Now, first off, I want to tell you we have a a little grocery store about one town over. It's about twenty minutes from the house, and it's employee owned little grocery store. And it's been there for I can't tell you how many years. And the two older gentlemen that work in the meat department have been in there forever too. They're as gray headed as I am. But uh, you can go in there and they order the meat themselves. It doesn't come from a big corporation or, you know, the company that sends them what they want them to sell. So they get to know their customers and they order what the customers either want or need. So anyways, I go in there about once a month and uh, Danny and I don't eat out much. So I'll go in there and if they have like a half of a ribeye and they'll sell it to me at cost and not even charge me to slice it up for me so how can you beat that they're not making much money on that meat when they sell it to me like that but that's just the way they do their their customers that come into them so much but i can go in there and sometimes i can get a ribeye a half a ribeye for four ninety nine a pound. This last time I had to pay five ninety nine a pound, but I didn't complain about that because that's cheap around this area. And uh, so I bought a half a, a ribeye, and I think it weighed eleven pounds. And uh, they sliced it for me the way they know I like it, which is just a half an inch thick. That's the way I like my steak. Um, I know a lot of people like it thicker than that. I just, I don't. So, anyways, it's just, a, it was a really good cut of meat, and I just love buying it that way. And it saves me money. Like I said, we don't eat out much, so when we don't eat out much, I can afford to do that. Because if I went out and ate two steak dinners... That's what this whole half would, would cost me. So I'm saving money. And anyways, what I'm trying to get to is I want to show you how me and Mr. Brown like cooking our steaks. Now, I'm not cutting down a gas grill or charcoal grill. It's all good. I love cooking out on them. But the way we like to cook ours is I love my cast iron. I cook everything in my cast iron. And... Uh, when I come in from work and we want a piece of steak, I can throw it in my cast iron and it gets a really good scald on them steaks. I don't cook them very long. I don't stick them in the oven or nothing. And it's just the way we like cooking them. So anyways, I just want to show you how we do our steaks because they're really good. And if you're a cast iron skillet uh, person too and love them, you're going to like this too. So stay with me and I'm going to show you how I cook my steak. Yeah, y'all just thought I was done talking, but you have to think about this too. Up here in Arkansas, with cattle everywhere, ground chuck is four to five dollars a pound, and your cheaper sour smelling stuff that I cannot stand is four dollars a pound. You get up to your organic or your grass-fed, it's about $6 a pound. So, if I can go to the store and I can buy half a ribeye, anywhere from four ninety nine a pound to five ninety nine a pound, hey, that's as much as you're paying for ground beef. But anyways, what I'm trying to get to is Danny and I have bought um, half a ribeye when it was on sale like that, Cut half of it up in steaks, and then the other half were ground up, and it made the best hamburgers you ever ate. So, that's just food for thought, and I just wanted to throw that in there, so, yep. I've got my iron skillet here, and I've got, got it on high heat. I don't have any oil in it. I just always season my pan with uh, Crisco. I've got my four little steaks here and all I got on it is salt, pepper, and, and garlic powder because that's all we like on our steaks. Now, if I can stick my hand over that and my hand gets too hot, that's usually what I go by, but see, and it's starting to smoke, so I'm going to throw them in there. 
and uh, we're going to just get a good scald on that side. Now I'm only going to cook these for three minutes. I'm going to turn my timer on and uh, cook them on that side for three minutes. These steaks, when you see the marble, how they're marbled in there, they're, they're just so tender. They're really good steak. So we'll be back. My steaks have been cooking three minutes and I'm going to I haven't touched them, and I'm going to turn them over just one time. You don't want to be messing with the steaks and turn them over a hundred times. Now I'm going to let them cook on this side for 30 minutes. I'm going to put the steaks first, um, and we'll do that right. I didn't want anything heavy with my steak tonight, so I'm sauteing some broccoli and bell peppers and onions up with a little bit of garlic, salt and pepper, and it'll be good. Why we like it. It's a lot healthy for us than uh, eating potatoes all the time. Mr. Brown likes them. He eats healthy every once in a while. I'm going to put a little bit of soy sauce just for taste. Low sodium soy sauce. And uh, that'll be it on that. It's a good side dish. It has good flavor in it and you just don't feel stuck. So, oh, here I am. I thought the camera was off. Okay, steaks have been cooking three minutes on the other side, and they're right where I want them. They already feel tender. I'm turning the fire off, and uh, Paula Dean's going to love me on this one because I'm going to put about, I don't know, half a tablespoon of, of butter on each steak, <laughs> and it's just going to make it rich and just make it melt in your mouth. So anyways, yeah, we're not eating much carbs, so I'll put some butter in there, extra butter. And then I'm going to take my foil and uh, cover it up, and I'm going to push it to the back of the stove, and I'm just going to let it sit about five minutes. Y'all, these steaks are really good cooked this way in the iron skillet. You just, you don't cook them very long. They're not cut very thick. So you don't have to. Now this is more melted butter with garlic uh, powder and a little Worcestershire sauce. And I'm going to pour it over it. It's so good. I can't help it. Please give me a thumbs up. And y'all come back and see me. And God bless.